If you are interested in becoming a USA amateur boxer, well, this video is for you. What's up everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, I'm gonna to be making a video showing you how to register as a USA amateur boxer, whether it's you or a family member who's interested in becoming a USA amateur boxer. I became an amateur boxer this year. The process was a bit confusing, but you know, nothing that's impossible. I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step procedures, how to get it done, and then how to get your first fight. Let's get right into it. To basically sum up, okay, this whole video in the beginning, before it even starts this is the most important thing that you need you get this you're pretty much good you need this. this is the most important thing you'll realize once you become boxing or if you're already involved with amateur boxing in the past this is important you don't have this you don't fight amateur boxing name means nothing you need this so i'm gonna show you how to get this how they mail it to you everything you need so the first thing before you even make a decision before you even go to usa boxing you gotta first decide well are you gonna be competing as unattached or part of a actual USA boxing club. What is unattached, you may ask? Well, unattached means you are not part of a USA registered club. You can still box, but you know, the USA boxing charges a lot. You wanna go to the other guy. Well, it's not USA boxing registered. So if you wanna fight, you gotta make sure that that coach is registered. Okay, the gym doesn't have to be registered, but you gotta make sure that coach is. Or let's say you have a dad who just wants to help corner you wants to be your coach. Well, you got to make sure that even though you don't have a gym, you know, you're just competing out of your your garage or basement. You got to make sure that your dad or whoever the case may be is registered as a coach. You can go online. The process is sort of similar. I'm not sure that process as I'm an athlete, not a coach. Basically, unattached just means you're not a part of an actual USA boxing registered gym. You're going to be fighting part of a club. That's much easier. The gym you go to is registered. The coach is registered. That's all good. That's the easiest way to go. That's the best way to go. I highly suggest that, but I know not everyone's in that situation. You might not live near a USA boxing gym like that. You might, you know what I'm saying? You might live in the middle of nowhere. That might not be the case. Just make sure whoever's going to train you, corner you on fight night, it needs to be a registered coach. If you're not a part of a registered gym, well, you're unattached. If you are, well, you're a member of a club. That's simply that. If you're trying to look for gyms that are USA uh, registered around your area, simply go to their website, find a club, usaboxing.com, go to find a club, type in your zip code, the distance of, you know, the max you want to go, you know, gyms nearest in 25 miles, 50 miles, you know what I'm saying? You'll find it. Very good website to, to look at. Alrighty. So you go to the website, USA Boxing Membership. So I'm already a member, but you go to join or renew a membership. Listen, this is another interesting point. If you're going to be doing this, do this in the beginning of the year, okay? This is a calendar year membership. So if you register on December 30th, well, it ends December 31st. The prices are usually 59 bucks to 100 bucks, depends on the location, the age, and things like that. It'll tell you, though, when it's time to check out. But listen, it ends on the calendar year. So I highly suggest if you're watching this video now in December, wait till January. It goes the whole calendar year. You don't want to register late in the year and not even get a fight, but yet you're registered anyway. So just something to let you know, it ends every December 31st, every year, okay? So we're here now. You're going to be doing current or former members or non-members, okay? Obviously, you want to go do non-members. And you just want to fill out basic information, you know, under 18, you know, select membership, background screen, waiver, additional items, okay? It's, it's basically simple. It's basically simple. Confirm and check out. Like I said, depends on your situation, your age, location, while the prices could vary. Once you register, you're going to have a member confirmation. You're going to have basically your own little profile, right? Like social media treated as you're going to have your own little profile. It's going to have all your information. So as you see right here, here's my member ID. I'm going to have a blurred though. My address, I'm going to have a blurred. All my personal information, I'll have a blurred. But you'll see the club I'm a part of. Alrighty, I'm in this LBC. I'm part of this club. This is my registration date. This is my expiration date. Okay, I paid 78 bucks for it. Okay, like I said, depends on everything you need. And also below, this is important, you know, the register, chair, contact information, any information that you need to get in contact with, you know, whoever you need to box with. Alrighty, I have my personal um, athlete information, alrighty, and just things like that. The basic information has a code of conduct, alright? Now, this is when it gets a bit important. Now, this is how you actually go through with it. So, we'll need to do now, once you, once you actually register, you're not done yet. Once you register, you're not done yet. You go on. You got to upload either your birth certificate or your passport, your passport, your actual passport, if you have one, all right? If you travel, you have a passport. I just use that. It's easier, but you can use your birth certificate as well. You got to upload that first thing. Then you got to upload an athlete physical, okay? It, they, they have actual forms. I'm not sure if it could be right here that you could download. I'm not sure, but either way, okay? 
upload a physical it, it on their website they have physicals you just have to find it you download it it has everything you need just take it to your doctor to fill it out and then you can actually take pictures and upload it to here so that's the good thing about it you take a upload it to here next thing you gotta upload a profile picture now listen this is simple don't make it anything more difficult than it is a simple picture like i said white background like a passport photo basically you want to have uploaded there and then you want to print it out because then when you get your passbook eventually you're gonna have to tape it here so that's uploading all the necessary documents that you need. So let me just sum it up real quick before we continue. Okay, if you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. Also, hit me up on Instagram, whatever the case may be, alrighty? So to sum it up real quick before we move on. First, find out are you gonna be fighting unattached or part of a club, okay? You find out if your club's USA Boxing by going on a website, typing USA Boxing slash find a club or just simply ask the coach at the gym, okay? If you're gonna be fighting unattached, make sure whoever's gonna be coaching you is actually a registered coach. Second, go to USA Membership. A website okay register fill out all the information buy the membership that's just a membership now now to actually complete everything start uploading your documents upload your birth certificate or passport okay upload your physical fill out all the information that's right on that website you can upload it right to the website then have a photo simple passbook photo don't even smile this ain't a fashion show just simply get it done right behind a white background usually above your shoulders okay right above your chest and up just look like this Simple as that, alrighty? Upload that to, as your profile picture. Then you're gonna wanna go to CVS and print it out, okay? Print it out, a passport photo, so you get attached to the book, you need to do that. Then, last now, you gotta contact whoever it says to contact on that website like I showed you at the end, the contact information for me, it was Philly. Contact whoever that is, let them know that you complete all the information. They're gonna say, okay, they're gonna send you now the passbook. Alrighty, the passbook's gonna come in empty. I'm not gonna show you much information, but you have to fill out your personal information here. Like I said, attach this. It's gonna have like a little screenshot of the profile picture you have here. Okay, this this comes already with it. All of this, they fill out a little bit, like your member ID and all, and like where you go, but you have to fill out the rest. You know, basically just simple information, emergency contacts and things like that. Looking through the passbook now. Any medical issues that you have, usually doctor will fill that out. Okay, and then this is important now. These are just all the things that you go through to a fight night. It, it, it's all the same. Basically, you fight, boxer, and the physician signs off. Every single USA boxing event has a ringside uh, physician. The doctor shines light in your eyes, makes sure you're good, no concussion. Says you're good, signs off. You collect your passbook at the end or whenever you're leaving. Okay, make sure you're obviously you leave the fight with this. Now, let's talk about actually how do you get a fight. Alrighty, so this usually should be on the coach's responsibility. This should not be you having to reach out to events okay boxing events you should not have to be worried about that this should really be your coach managers not really a thing in boxing but your coach should be doing this for you you could do it but you know I'll, I'll just show you how to simply find events so now all you simply do is look up usa boxing events alrighty first thing that pops up it'll take you here the location now mine's middle Atlantic events because well that's the location i'm in however wherever you're at you just go to lbc go to whatever headquarters for me living in pennsylvania doesn't have it I just put Middle Atlantic, that's obviously the area I'm in. It'll have the dates now. What day are you looking to fight at? This is just automatic from December of now to February of 2025. Alrighty, here's some of the events. All right, let's say I'm looking, all right, I see this one. January 13th, Rumble at the Forum. Sounds pretty interesting. Usually they'll have stuff here. Already where my mouse is, they'll have some b basic information um, from the event holder. If not, they'll usually always have this stuff. All right, where is it at? Who to contact? What's the name? What's the number or email? Don't use the email ever. No one ever gets back to you. Use the phone number, alrighty? You could call or text. You can maybe text first, alrighty? They don't get back to you after a week, then call. You just say a simple thing like this, okay? Now, this is usually a coach's responsibility. Coaches should be doing this. This is usually from a coach's point of view, but if you're an athlete too, desperate looking to get fights, either way, I'm gonna show you, no matter what the circumstances are. You text them, say, hello, my name is this. I'm 165 pound amateur looking for my first fight. Do you have anything available for me? If you do, please let me know. Alrighty, they should get back to you. If they're responsible, they're, you know, I'm saying professional, they get back to you, say, okay, sure thing, or no, I don't have anything, or yeah, I actually do have somebody for you. Boom, alrighty. If they don't get back to you, we'll call them up. Alrighty, and then you'll have them there. Alrighty, um, let's say it's a week goes past, they didn't get back to you, even though they said that, yes, I'll get back to you, but they didn't find anybody yet over a week, let them know again, hey, do you have anybody? Alrighty, you work through that. The matchmaking in USA Boxing is annoying, I'll admit. But that's just basically how you do it. All right, let's look at another one. Uh, here's this one, Atlantic City. 
Okay, here's the sanctional events details. They even have where to register. So this will be a bit easier. Matchmyboxer.com. You go on there, you register. You might not get a guy automatically, right? Because remember, it takes two. You can't just register yourself and just expect to fight. You got to make sure you have somebody else in the same range as you. There's different levels too. Novice, elite, developmental. Developmental will be good for your first ever fight too. It's usually shortened rounds. Highly officiate it just to, you know, get the fundamentals of a first fight. Also have your contact information though. But also has, you know, weigh-in days, weigh-ins in amateur boxing, always the day of. Okay, something also to note. This is the coach's responsibility mainly. No one's stopping, no, nothing, nothing illegal for an a athlete to reach out. But you shouldn't have to worry about that. Coach's responsibility, reach out. They usually have a matchmaker also in a specific area, okay? Looking for fights all the time. So now, basically, I'm on my last point now. It's fight night. Prepare, obviously. Make sure you have this. Make sure this is all filled out. Have everything filled out. It's simple to fill out. Simple as that. Make sure your coach is on board. Make sure you know what's going on. All right, and make sure you know the dates, the times, when they show up, when the weigh-in is, okay? They'll let you know when the weigh-in is. You go to the weigh-in now. Make sure you're, you you make the weight, all righty? You're gonna wait. They're gonna do a pre-fight physical with a physician. Check your blood pressure and all. Do all that basic stuff, all righty? That's usually before, that can be before or after the weigh-in. Mine was after the weigh-in, okay? You hand them, once you walk in though for the weigh-in, you hand them this, this is important. They look through it, they fill it out, whatever they need to do. And then they hold on to it basically until you fight, until after the fight. This, that's for the physician to check off, make sure you're healthy, everything's good. So after your weigh-ins, after your checks, well now you just wait around. You just wait around, it's a, it is a lot of waiting around, but you know, grab something to eat, hydrate now, regenerate, game plan, warm up, whatever the case may be, alrighty? So now you get, you're in your dressing room where wherever you are, the matchmaker will come in, say, all right, you're fighting five minutes, warm up, you walk to the ring with headgear off. You don't have your headgear on until you get into the ring. You get into the ring, coach puts the headgear on, your opponent's across the ring, you meet in the middle, then you fight, all righty? Now let's say you fight, you get the win, all righty? Let's, let's help you get the win. Once you leave off the ring, the physician will be right there waiting for you. Shines light in your eyes, make sure you're good, you know, any headaches, any problems. Be honest, be honest, don't lie, because, you know, brain damage, brain injuries, Serious thing. Be honest. If you tell him though that you're good, he'll check off. If he sees everything from you that yeah, you're good, he'll check off with it. And then you can basically get your passbook. You want to hand your gloves because usually also the event holder will prepare, uh, handle you gloves. They'll give you gloves. Make sure to handle his back. Get your passbook. You're free to go. And then you'll have your first ever fight. So that's really it. Hopefully I really made this video informational for you. Any questions? I'm sure there's some questions out there that I missed off or any top details I missed off. Comment down below. Let me know. Any questions you have, hit me up on Instagram, email me, lexdunch at gmail.com. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Unlock, guys. Peace.